My mom was born a child of a missionary family in Thailand. She lived there until she was 17, and the country obviously had a profound effect on her life. My brothers and I were all born in the United States, but I still feel a special connection to the country in which my mother was born, and it has always been a dream of mine to be able to visit that country where she spent a large portion of her childhood. I am definitely not in the financial position where I could even think about affording a trip to Thailand in the near future, but it is never too early to learn about important cultural customs that would help me both fit in and not to offend anyone if I am ever able to go. So in this speech, I am going to go over different social customs and their significance. I will also go over how they can help create and how they help create the overall attitude of the country, which I admire. The first custom I am going to address is the traditional Thai greeting called the Y. To greet someone in this way, you put your palms together at your chest and bow your head slightly. The higher you hold your hands, the greater respect you are showing that person. Typically, young, uh, the younger person will greet the older person first since Thai culture puts, does stress respect of your elders. You should always greet someone back once they have greeted you unless the person is a child. Another important cultural difference to learn before traveling to Thailand is knowing the head is considered the most sacred part of the body and the feet are considered the dirtiest part of the body. The head is considered sacred because it is the source of intelligence and spirituality. So you should never touch another person on their head. The feet are thought to be the dirtiest part of the, do the body because they are always in contact with the ground. So you should never point your feet at someone because th that is extremely rude and can be considered the equivalent of giving someone the finger in the United States. You should always remove your shoes before entering a home or a temple and when you sit on the ground be sure to tuck your feet under your body. Respect is hugely important in the Thai culture and is what many of their social traditions are based around. The concept of keeping face is important in everyday social situations. Thais do not like loud emotional outbursts in public that might embarrass someone or cause them to lose face or lose respect. It is taken very seriously there. Well, you might assume from all the talk of respect that the Thai culture is very stern and uptight and it's actually quite the opposite. Thailand is nicknamed the land of smiles because people seem to be able to smile through any situation. This doesn't mean that they don't take things seriously, but they do put a lot of emphasis on enjoying life and not letting the little frustrations of life upset them. There is a saying in Thailand called Mai Pin Rai, which basically means never mind or it is nothing. So whenever they're in a frustrating situation, instead of getting angry they say those three words and they choose to find a solution to the problem. This also goes back to the issue of losing face because it would be very looked down upon socially if um, they did have those emotional outbursts and it would cause them to lose respect. These attitudes are deeply embedded in the Thai culture and they create a laid-back atmosphere throughout the entire country that travelers find is hard to leave. So I have gone over three very important social customs that will help a traveler be able to fit in and not embarrass themselves if they ever do visit, visit Thailand. I have also made you a little bit more familiar with the overall attitude of the country so that you would know what to do or what to expect if you ever do visit the country. Thai people create a very friendly and positive environment with their attitudes and stress on respect that I would love to experience firsthand someday.